Hey guys, it's time for episode three of the infamous C Iron Man Let's Play Challenge thing. What we're doing here right now, leveling up, not dying, 170. Are we going to do it? Who knows? Are we going to succeed? Probably not, but we'll try our hardest. We left off in the last episode. We did take a couple of professions just off uh, camera, just so I already had them done. Blacksmithing and mining, so we can start making some gear. So we are going to focus on trying to get as much of that as possible today. We have got some quests that we need to start running through that we took over in that new zone that we popped to in the last episode just over here. So we're going to head over there, start having a look, read through the quest text, and we are going to start our adventure for the day. Okay, so we've reached this place, so let's carry on from where we left off and have a look at what we've got to do. So we've got to take ammo over to Rumble Shot in Don Moreau. We need to actually find him. Okay, so that's actually back this way. I think we saw a mortar team when we come in, when we first walked in. So it's actually back this way. So let's head back over to that direction. And what else have we got in the meantime? Have we got anything we can do here? Gather four chunks of boar meat and two thick boar furs and deliver them to the pilot. Let's go get this boar, because this boar might bring us what we need for this other quest. This is the problem. Quest in this area now, we've got so many aggressive mobs that are running around or walking around that we have to be not so not careful great. not to pull them. If we pull one of these wolves along with a boar, then we're dead. Still not getting any furs. Do these balls actually drop these furs? Let's have a look. Da -da -da. Oh. <laughs> it's boar meat and bear furs. All right. Okay. Whoops. Level eight. No, I'm okay. Need my ring. Yeah, there's one of the first. Okay. Well, we're cooking with gas now that we actually know where we get stuff from. I mean, if we just read it properly in the first place, we would have known where the stuff was coming from, but hey-ho. <laughs> Onwards and upwards, the venture continues. There we go, we've got the furs. Okay, well, while we're here, let's just take this straight back and hand this quest in. What we'll then do is then head over to the ammo hand in, what we're going to do anyway. And then we'll look for these mains as well. So we can hand that How are you? itself. Okay, let's hand that in. Is that gonna be enough to level us up? It is perfect. See you soon. How are ya? Got another shield there, that would be very good. Explore the frost main hold and killed five and kill five frost main headhunters. Watch your back. Okay. So we've got new worlds open well, closed beta just around the corner. What are your thoughts on it? Are you excited? I think it'll be good to have something fresh. Obviously you've got Final Fantasy Online at the moment, but in terms of fresh new content, that's going to be quite interesting to see. I will try and get involved in the closed beta to give you guys some instant access so you can have a look and have a watch. We'll carry on our Iron Man challenge as well, and then eventually we will do another RimWorld playthrough, but I think for now we're just going to focus on this, maybe do a little bit of New World content. Obviously we ended the last one with the civilization completely falling apart, 
So I want to make sure that we're in a good spot before we start it again. I don't want to just load the channel back to back with the Rim World content. I want to put a little bit of variety out there just so it appeals to more audiences and it ex you know exposes you to other games that you may or not have heard of or may not have played before. Always good to have a different variety of things. This is going to be a tough cave. Need more rain. Oh my god, a full two. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Surely you're not going to hit me anymore. Thank God for that. Whew. That was close. That was very close. Maybe it heard me talking about New World and just thought it was going to end my series there and then. Luckily, it didn't though. So we're good. <laughs> we carry on. <laughs> we keep moving forward. Upgrade there on the gear, nice. That belt should help us a little bit. Obviously, every upgrade is an upgrade when it comes to this. Any white that's better will help us in the long run. Oh my god! Okay, we've got a big boy coming along. Need my rain. Let's Not get rid of that. Rain. Okay, we should be okay. Luckily, we hit a 24. like these young ones don't drop the, the main that we need. Need more rain. That's a great start, isn't it? That's a that is a fucking atrocious start. She missed the first Not two hits rain. back to back. Come on. Oh 38 that could be that could be the series saving hit. And then a twenty. Thank the Lord. Get out of this danger zone. Not enough room. Oh my god. This cave is so dangerous. We should be okay. No, we're not gonna be okay if you're dodging though. Look at that bleed on him straight away. Let's have a, a bit more attack power so we can hit some bigger numbers. We on 65. Okay, it was okay. Makes it look easier, doesn't it, when you've got spells that are ranged? It would be nice to have a, a form of range. Eventually, we could buy a gun or a bow and use that to pull mobs when we do get to them higher levels. It's not even worth like fighting through to get that copper vein, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, if we were desperate for it, maybe, but there'd be plenty of others that we can use and take advantage of to make stuff rather than having to risk going that far into the cave. Especially as we've got to go all the way around as well. It's too far away. Oh my god. That druid, without actually knowing it, has just probably saved our life. Potentially saved our life help out the druid as she helped us out without actually knowing it. Let's give her a belt. She might not have a belt. She has a belt. She can wear leather. Well, is this part of the rules? In theory, it's a player that's given me the buff. I didn't take healing from her just buffed me. I'm going to say because I didn't ask for it. She gave it to me out of her goodwill. I'm going to say it's part of the rule. Not enough range. Finally. Might as well put them on. Even though it's only cloth and it's seven armor. We haven't got any. So it's already seven extra armor. 
Okay, right, that's that quest done. What we're going to do, run back, hand that in, and we'll see where we go next. What we might do is quickly hand over to the mortar team to start the next quest with the ammo, and then we will be back with some more action. Ooh, there's a copper vein on our journey to the mortar camp, so we'll just stop off and grab that. Brilliant. Forgot to pick up a mining pick. <laughs> Guess we won't be picking that up on our journey there then. Let's carry on. Need to pick up a mining pick when we go back. So we actually need to go here and then come over here. And there's another copper vein there as well. It's literally trolling me. Good job we didn't fight our way all the way through the uh, cave, wasn't it? Basics, not having the mining pick. But we need to be careful on this because... Oh, yeah. Could you imagine if I just died falling down the hill? Oh, that's it. Game over. Well played. <laughs> oh, so if he was camped near it, then this must be up here that we keep passing time and time again. I didn't see any ammo there. Ah, uh, it's because the box is going to be some right there. <laughs> I mean, I say that. It's right there. <laughs> I've, I literally just missed it every time when I come this way. Fair enough. There we go. Now we're really close to the inn, so I'm going to go buy a pickaxe. I'm going to go buy a pickaxe, head back to where we was, collect them copper veins, and then we'll carry on the quest in. Work with you. Okay, so we've got our pick. There we go. Trusty little pickaxe. Uh, we also picked up a blacksmith and hammer as well. Just in case. I mean, we probably could have just used our actual hammer. Again, just thought that. Oh well. <laughs> Back to the mortar team we go. Just grinding mobs as we go from location to location. Leveling up faster so we won't die. Haha, <laughs> pesky copper mine. Now time to meet your maker, now that I've got my mining pick. Nice. Four bits of copper. Don't mind that. We can also use the rough stone that we get to make a sharpening stone. And then what we can do is we can apply the sharpening stone to our weapon. I can't use that. Never mind. It has to be a sword. Of course it does. Honestly. Anyone would think watching this, I might not have ever played this game. I have. I just, you How know, are you? you just forget some of these little bits. Safe right, hand that in. Perfect. That's that done. What can I do? We need to go hand back that. Well, we need to go hand in the mains. We also need to go to the frost main hold, um, which I believe is up here, if I'm not mistaken. We'll also visit the um, smith so we can make these copper ores into copper bars and then from that we can start looking to make some bits of armor for us whilst we're on the way we're just going to grind some um, mobs just to get that extra little bit of xp in every bit of xp we can get is going to help in terms of leveling up and then just getting that little bit stronger for the content that we're going to get if we can maybe try and stay a level above or two levels above, we're going to have a slight advantage. As long as I get to a respectable level, like I don't mind. Maybe like 25? Is that respectable? I don't know. Maybe, maybe 30? 35 in theory is halfway, so halfway is quite respectable. But I think like 35 would be a good target to set. Maybe I'll just grind balls until I hit 35 and then just show you. Be like, oh, there we go, look. Hit 35. How did you get there? I just grinded balls for hours and hours. Why, why are you two hogging two anvils? Excuse me, lads. Don't, don't mind me. Just small so I need to get as close as possible don't mind me 
Right, let's make these copper bars. And then what we're going to look at is what we can make afterwards. So we can make a chest piece, which is better. We can make the braces as well, which is better. So hopefully we'll have enough to make both. How much is the chest? Chest is four, and they're two, and we've got seven. So yeah, we should be able to make both, as long as they don't fail. Nice. And we'll make the chest piece as well. Perfect. So that's an extra... 20-ish armor, and that's obviously almost an extra 30 armor. So, that's going to help Here us in there. the long run. Let's sell these bits. Weapons what can I Is do it worth looking at getting a new weapon now? Because we could get a one-handed sword, 5 to 11 damage. We've just got to train swords, but then we could use the rough stones as well when we get them to increase that damage even more. I think we will do that. Off with you. you that's going to help in the long run. See you soon. So yeah, so we've bought that sword. 5 to 11 damage is better than what we had. And we can use the rough stone as well to increase the damage even more. We have got to train our sword some stats. So we're going to do that before we go to the frost main camp. The other beauty of the sword as well is it's quicker. So we'll hit more often. So we'll be able to get damage in a lot quicker. So our DPS is going to go up against the DPS of the mobs that are attacking us. Oh my god. Oh my god. We literally just aggroed a pack of wolves. Get me out of here, dwarf. No. Defend me. Or, or not. Luckily, they've turned around. There seems to be a big problem as well. I've noticed and I've watched a few videos. The Alliance are just not being played in classic and classic TBC. The population per server of the Alliance is so low. And there's no real reason for that because each you know each one has their own abilities they each has their own racial passives so there's no set reason why the horde should be played a lot more i play horde mainly to be honest i don't normally play the alliance you know my main in classic is a troll hunter so i do play as the horde but the problem is this there's such a disparity in the numbers of horde and alliance that the issue with battlegrounds, PvP, that sort of thing, it, the queues for the Alliance are hours upon hours. Which in turn means that the queues for the Horde are hours upon hours because there isn't enough Alliance players to fight against them. So it come, it's a bit of a catch-22. What do you do though? Do you tell half of the Horde community that they've got to play Alliance and risk them people leaving? That's not going to work. Do you get rid of factions altogether? then you're losing the element of the game, which is the whole point in the early stages of the expansions. It's a mystery. So we've got two rough stones now. So what we can do is make another one of them sharp stones. Let's make one of them. Once that's made, we can then apply that to our sword, which is going to give us even more damage from the sword. open up that, apply that to the source, it's going 5 to 11 damage at the moment, and it should have then, there we go, extra 2 damage for an hour, just in time, I'm pretty sure we are where we need to be, yeah, frost mate, level 9, Uh oh. What's he done? Oh my god, my armor is reduced by 216. I don't have any armor then. Yeah, we can't fight these. Let's get out of here. Oh, now we've got to run back through because we can't actually get down the mountain. Yes, we can. There's a path here. Phew. The headhunters. That's who we need to kill. Could just use this one spawn. I'm gonna wait until that comes off. 
debuff. Maybe we'll grind some mobs, hit level 8, and come back. Oh my god, a dodge and a miss on my first. Alright, a free attacks. Come on. And we're back. I'm not sure how much you actually got to see. Because unfortunately, we got the blue screen of death. I had to restart. Luckily, we managed to kill one of them, but the recording obviously ended slightly earlier, I think. I won't know until I actually look back at it now. Hopefully, we don't crash again, fight the exact same enemy. Oh, here he comes. Let's get... Let's get away. Come on, follow me down this way, please. Yes, I know you can do range, which is great. Not great for us, but... Oh, come on. Fight me, you swine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not oh, thank rain. God that they run away in fear. Realistically, if he didn't fear, he would have killed me. <laughs> Most probably. That's just the way it goes, though. That's just the mechanic. So luckily for us... He didn't kill us. Because <laughs> if he killed us, it would have been a game over. We need to fully explore the whole hold anyway. I, I literally just ran up this cliff. Why can't I run up it again? I don't want to fight this other guy on my own. I suppose I'd rather fight him on his own than if he was with someone else. I'd rather just not fight him at all, to be honest. The debuff type lasts forever. We ain't got much choice, have we? Gonna have to face him head on. Need more rain. Look at them all here. There's not a chance that we're going there. Oh, please don't run over there. Oh, thank God for that. That's the only worst thing about it, right? So when they fear and they run off, they run into some other mobs, they will pull their mobs and bring them over to us. So that's where we have to be. So, oh my god, we've aggroed something here. What have we aggroed? Jesus. Oh, go away. I don't want to fight, please. No thanks. Not messing with that. When it comes to elemental damage, yeah, we're going to get absolutely melted. So, any elemental challenge or where we have to go kill someone who uses uh, elementals as damage, we are not going to fight. Look, our resistance is zero against all of them. Yep. Nope. Let's get out of here. We're not strong enough to go over to the imparts yet, so we're going to come back when we are slightly stronger and complete that. We can go to Runal Village. Get here. Oh, we've got lots more quests as well, which is good. So let's How take as everything Off that we can. You. Here there. Hand in this. Watch your back. We've got kill quests. What's which on is your handy. mind? Handy. In a way, it's a good job we come here to be fair, because we've got another rain. quest to go back to that frost main camp. So, at least when we do eventually go back, we'll have a couple of multiple quests there. So we've got to worry about then going back again. If we ever go back. So we're going to use this time while we're here, where all of these mobs seem to be gathered together, to take advantage of it. We're going to kill everything here. We're going to complete this quest. We're also going to get, obviously, a lot of XP from killing these mobs as well. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Oh my god, this could be an issue. This could be a big issue. Run, 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 run. Oh, how are you still hitting me from there? Run away. Leave me alone, please. Please. Oh my god. <sighs> that was close. 
there's so many red mobs around here. Red tiled mobs, so they're all aggressive. So we need to be eating on point. <laughs> Finally, there we have it. That is six bears, eight boars, eight leopards slain. And for you, probably watch that in about a minute. For me, it didn't take a minute. <laughs> Inventory is full. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Let's get rid of this chipped bear tooth. We might as well keep as much copper ore as possible making as much stuff as we can. What we'll probably do is go hand in this quest, uh, the kill quest that we've just done. We'll go hand this in and we'll probably go I hand in the other that. quest as well uh, that we've got that we need to hand in. And then we'll call it a end to the episode and we will see how far we have come and what level. Hopefully handing in this quest and that quest may actually get us to level nine. Um, and then in the next episode, we will go back and visit that village of all the trolls and see what we can do. But let me head back to the de destinations, I'll hand in the quests, and then I will be back with you at the end. Speak to you soon. And there we have it. So I handed in them two quests. It wasn't quite enough to get us to that next level. I thought I'd end it here in the forge. Obviously, we've got a bit of copper ore here to smelt, whilst obviously we're saying a goodbye and a end to the episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it let me know obviously in the comments below how you thought we got on what level you think we will achieve come the end of the series will we get all the way will we get halfway will we get one more level is the trolls gonna be too much for us we'll find out in the next episode i'm sure um, but leave a comment leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.